This Real Green World has been brought to you by Solice Engineered Systems. Welcome to my world, my Real Green World. This week, we're talking about snow melt systems. That's why you're seeing me in thermal image. We got Solice as our guests. Let's go check out what they did on a small job up in Park City. There are a lot of things in life that are important to me. My great Dane Lullaby, my family, and just having fun in this crazy world. My name is Dennis Deuce, and this blog is about sharing what my friends and I do to make our busy lives a little more green. I'm here with uh, Joseph Lambert of Excellence Construction. Excellence. Just plain, just old, plain excellence. old excellence. That's right. Plain old excellence. Links are in the show notes, so you can get to them. The heat cable versus the kind of the panel uh, approach. I didn't originally think that it was going to be a, a big deal, but that is really the way that I'm allowed to turn. I, it allows me to turn the system off when I don't need it, because. The, the zigzag cables almost had to be on all season long. That's it. Uh, there, there's lots of control features that we could have used as far as how, but Glenn uh, just wanted to flip the switch. That's it. Yep. Behind us, we have a hydronic system that is uh, uh, melting the snow off our porch roof and a little bit of the uh, roof that extends over towards the garage. Tell us a little bit about what um, the system itself is doing. So the system itself, what it's doing right now is there's uh, actually panels that are built that have um, metal over the top of them that the heat, it's not heat cable, it's uh, heat tubing because this is a hydronic system that's running up and down creating a loop uh, that we talked about earlier which was mm -hmm. the, uh, filled with glycol so it doesn't freeze and that runs up this little shed roof here with this pitch change and then it actually comes on the garage side here as well and that's actually heating up the mass as far as the shingles as well as the uh, underlying metal covered panels uh, that's reflecting that heat back up to melt the snow. This is the first time you've worked with Soul Ice. First time working with Soul Ice. Uh, we actually had one day of good snow <laughs> where we could actually test it, fire it up, and it worked tremendously. Now, a word from our sponsor. Country Manor Shake. Um, this is a dual gold. This is about the best looking environmentally friendly roof there is out there. Looks exactly like a shake, as you can see. Aluminum roofing requires a higher level of competency than something such as a composition roof, which is not designed to last for the life of the roof. Um, whereas metal, especially aluminum with a Kynar coating, is designed to last for that entire life of the house. And it's, it's, a, it's a tedious process. When done correctly, will last the life of the house. This is the finest roof out there. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to this week's guest on this week's episode of Real Green World. The Soul Ice, there was uh, it, it's a new product, so you know there's definitely some bumps in the road that you have with any new product. But it, we worked through that, and at the end of the day, had a great product that's on the roof and functioning as it should. Yeah, we, we learned a lot. Soul Ice is constantly improving the products, um, and there were some improvements that came out of this particular job that we're putting into manufacturing. But definitely, I mean, you you can never stop improving. No, that's that's the point. It's all about excellence, and that's excellence right. is constant improvement. That's right. The system ends right where that snow starts. So what was the change there? Well, matter of efficiency, because you're not getting uh, ice damming off that, that section. Uh, the heat cable there was just promoting uh, more uh, melting and down into the gutters. Uh, well, we had the heat cable in the, in the gutters also. Uh, I suspect the people that sold the system to us when we re-roofed the house weren't really on top of the situation. And uh, we just moved here from Florida, so neither were we. <laughs> Through working together with Soul Ice, you were able to come up with a solution that could handle this. What What is it that you've done right here differently? Do you have heat along this area? Uh, there's just heat along the lip and in, in the gutter. Just the lip and in the gutter? Yeah. How about the gutters and downspouts? Gutters and downspouts, we have uh, some tubing in there called Honest. It's actually connected to the same loop as the, uh, the glycol loop that's in the panels. Uh, it runs down the, the gutters, comes down the downspouts, and ties all the way back into the system. Uh, you can't see it except for at the downspout where it actually comes out of the system a couple of feet in contact with the ground. Cool. Seems to be working. Seems to be working fantastically. Uh, the uh, 
the efficiency of the heat exchanger in this whole system is just amazing. Uh, and the dials don't lie as far as what the outputs are. Um, so, pretty excited. Let's hope for some big snow so that we can get out and go skiing and see how well this system works later this year. That's right. That was awesome hanging out at Glen Wright's place. Joseph Lambert did a fantastic job installing that hydronic snow melt system. Anyway, that's this week's episode of Real Green World. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about energy efficient snow melt systems. Until next week, have a great green week. This Real Green World has been brought to you by Solice Engineered Systems.